Five deaths have been confirmed in California, Illinois, Indiana, Minnesota, and Oregon. A release from the CDC indicated that there was no evidence of infectious disease. Therefore, lung illnesses are likely associated with a chemical exposure. Pointing to a common link, the patients reported e-cigarette use and also exhibited similar symptoms and clinical findings. Vape Escape owner Theseus Mendiola shares that the deaths have created a scare in the vaping community. Initially, um, most, most media covers that went out basically um, kind of vaguely set, set it up to where it was vaping in general. Um, they didn't provide any details, so it created a kind of a hysteria. Uh, you know, we had customers come in asking about it. So he and his team did some research and discovered that the deaths had a common link. The e-cigarettes contained cannabinoid products such as THC or CBD. We found out that the FDA actually found it was uh, the THC cartridges, black market cartridges. Um, this kind of stuff is actually, um, you can buy empty cartridges and, and boxing, packaging online on Amazon or eBay. And a lot of these black market individuals that sell this, they make their own concoction. You don't know what you're buying. And, um, you know, my advice to anybody that's, that's going to be or seeing these, uh, one of them is called Dang Vapes. As with all drugs on the black market, there is inherent risks associated. But what's the difference between what's sold in the stores versus on the streets? Um, I would say to all consumers, question whatever you're buying. Yeah, is it coming from a reputable source? Um, you know, a lot of our CBD products actually have uh, lab reports. If you're buying from somebody that doesn't have a lab report, take precaution. Um, so what they found out in some of the in these most of these devices, uh, especially with the deaths, it had a vitamin E acetate, which is an oil base. A report from the FDA states that many of the samples tested have identified tetrahydrocannabinol or THC and also contain significant amounts of vitamin E acetate, a substance present in topical consumer products or dietary supplements. With limited data on the effects of inhaling vitamin E, the FDA states, quote, while the FDA does not have enough data presently to conclude that vitamin E acetate is the cause of lung injury in these cases, the agency believes believes it is prudent to avoid inhaling this substance because consumers cannot be sure whether any THC vaping products may contain vitamin E acetate. Consumers are urged to avoid buying vaping products on the street and to refrain from using THC oil or modifying and adding any substances to products purchased in stores, end quote. The report goes on to confirm that at least one of the deaths publicly disclosed appears to be related to illicit THC vaping products. But with vaping being a fairly new form of smoking, the FDA does acknowledge that more information is needed to better understand whether there is a relationship between any specific product or substances and the reported illnesses.